Welcome to a special episode of Insta Chat with the Journalist. And yeah, man, you know, um, today it's a special episode. Uh, we're not talking to an artist, uh, but the conversation is, you know, uh, with a man who is making sure that the business side of things take place. Uh, you know, we're talking, we're focusing more on the business side of things today, just to find out, you know, how does the digital space work? And, uh, you know, we hear a lot about uh, digital streaming, you know, a lot of artists put their music on digital sites. Uh, and, you know, our guest today is uh, Chris Galakis, who is the CEO of Electro Mode, which is a digital music distribution company. And uh, they just recently got acquired by an international company called In Groups Music, which also specializes in digital marketing and they also specialize in um, you know putting artist music out there you know streaming services so today is just you know getting to understand what this deal means uh, between in groups music as well as electro mode because it's a, a big move for South Africa and we need to understand what that means for South African artists uh, as we all know that music is not, you know, as profitable as it was many years ago. Things have changed. What does it mean to go platinum online? And all those type of questions. So Chris Gerlakis from Electro Mode will answer all those questions. Plus, he'll also talk about, you know, um, what it means to have record labels under him. So Electro Mode has also signed, you know, uh, indie record labels like Ambitious, for example. So, you know, they have a lot of artists under their roster. They actually have about uh, 20 or 30,000, 20 or 30,000 songs under Electro Mode that are online. So the conversation will just be about that. So, yeah, um, I'm just waiting for, for Chris Gerlakis to join in. Shout out to Ashla, I see you. Uh, well done on the on the Daily Sun feature. I saw it. I saw it. Well done, Ashla. So Ashla was uh, a guest on the show. Check out her interview on the timeline, or check out her interview on the journalistdj.com. So so yeah, man. You know. Um. So I'm just waiting for for Chris Galakis to join, or the good guys from. Uh, electro mode to join so that we we get the show on the road um, I'm looking forward to this uh, chat as well Ashley because you know I have a lot of questions um, about digital uh, streaming about you know digital marketing and what does it all really mean you know um, because it was easier to understand the CD sales you know the physical copies because with physical copies you know, you price them uh, and then people go and buy the the CDs and then that's how you make your money. But with with streaming, you know, it's a bit more complex because, you know, a lot goes on and you get, you know, it's, it's I actually don't know. So I can't wait to have a conversation with uh, Chris Galakis. And let me just add them so that, you know, we can get the show on the road it's a, an educational one so you know if you're watching this on the website on youtube please share this with your artist friends if you're an artist share this with your colleagues because yeah man you know we really need to understand the world of digital you know and understand the business side of it so today i'm talking to an actual ceo of a digital distribution company who has been in the game for a long time so he'll share the insights with us chris how are you hey how you doing i'm very very well thank you looking forward to you know just picking your brain a bit cool so yes you know um it was recently announced that electro mode has been acquired by in grooves music. I, I hope uh, I'm pronouncing in grooves properly. In grooves properly. Yeah, that's in grooves. 100% right. So what does this deal mean exactly? 
Well, what it means is um, uh, we're part of a much bigger uh, company that can help, uh, number one, finance, and number two, uh, take South African music, what is distributed through Electromode, to a much bigger audience, a worldwide audience. We can promote stuff in you know, like Europe, America, South America, wherever we see fit. The, uh, the, the content that we release, uh, they are able to help us take it to the next level. As you know, when you release on digital, it, it is worldwide. You know, when you're on Apple, you're anywhere in the world. The problem with that is you're not marketed in that territory. So, uh, you know, we've got to make um, our music uh, uh, sort of more uh, in a marketing sense in the rest of the world. That we're ready well, to okay. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but Electro Mode was one of the first or oh, the first company to have like a deal with Apple Music back in the day, you know, before... Yeah. Yeah, before it became like public knowledge on how to get on this platform. So obviously, Electro Mode, you guys really, really understand the power of digital and how it all works. So like, I've always just... been a believer of digital. I hated physical. I thought physical was a complete ripple for artists. You know, because uh, the artists saw a very, very small portion of the income of physical. So I was very uh, against physical always from the beginning. So when digital started and, uh, you know, I used to go to meet him and I saw the way Steve Jobs spoke about um, Apple and he was going to pay labels for music. You know, when digital started, it was about a company called Napster. I don't know if you remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Napster. And that was like basically a pirate site. Just got stuff mm -hmm. on for nothing and let people download for free. And then when Apple came along and said, we're going to, you know, sort of formalize it and pay for the music i thought that's the way to go mm -hmm. it's interesting that you know you you say that you you've never really been a fan of physical copies but physical copies you know um a lot of artists say you know they they preferred it because with physical copies it's actually money exchanging hands and obviously there'll always be like you know deals between labels and artists and all that but the conversation is with physical copies you know you make money with the mall units you, you sell. You don't. You make please more explain that. Digital. No chance. No but chance. Then, but then artists are saying they, you know, there's the commission is that because we don't understand. You know, I'll speak for myself. It's a bit confusing. How do you then make money or via streaming? Okay, let me tell you. Streaming is not just about how many uh, streams your song has got. It's all the playlists that you get onto. And also streaming, the audience of streaming is a thousand times bigger than on your, on your physical. Why artists say they made money out of physicals? Because companies they used to sign to would give them advances. Mm. And that's how they thought they'd make. I mean, the biggest record in South Africa probably did about three, four hundred thousand albums. You know, you look at Brenda Fussy, Lucky Dube, the big, big artists that sold physical. Mm. Out of the hundred rand that the, it was in the retail shop, the artist saw probably ten percent of that, nine percent, eight percent, on mm. two three hundred thousand. Now, if there's a stream, yes, it's small, three four cents a stream, but it's on millions of streams, millions and millions. Mm. There's some artists last year um, labels have done over two three hundred million streams. Wow! Now, if you put all that money together and you can work out how much money they could earn. Plus, we've never, ever exploited YouTube. If you look at the rest of the world, YouTube is probably making more money than uh, Apple or Spotify or any of those. And that is one of the focuses Electromode's got for 2021. We're going to mm. like uh, get behind YouTube. Um, so... Yes, the artists that are complaining are the artists that don't sell any, you know, they don't get behind their brand. People put music onto a playlist because of the name of the brand. You know, you, you might not have a hit album, but if your brand is good, they will put your music onto playlists. So mm -hmm. that's how uh, uh, digital works. And mm -hmm. I don't know about other artists, but at Electromode, I mean, we grew from 2018 to 2019 72 percent in our uh digital streaming and from 2019 to 2020 
about 55%. So we, I mean, we dominated the charts. If you look at 2020 and 2019, it was all electromotive product. Mm, mm. We did behind the artists, we market them, we put them on playlists, we help them with uh, uh, all the aspects of the digital uh, uh, playlists. Mm, mm. And, you know, speaking about artists that are doing well, you know, Gabs at the Small, who is also under electro mode, did crazy numbers. Can you just tell us a bit about that? Well, it's, it's not only Cubs. I mean, we were fortunate enough to have, we distribute the Ambitious Group. They've done phenomenally well. We distribute Spirit, which is a gospel. They've done very well. We've got Piano Hub, which is Cubs's love. We've got New Money Gang, which is Maporisa. Then mm -hmm. we've got the Buster 99. We've got um, uh, Jazik. We've got um, Big Zulu, with, uh, all that. So we haven't just, you know, Cubs of Yes has done phen phenomenally well, but we've got a lot of other stuff that's done well as well. Tyler ICU, Mass Music, mm -hmm. all that. They've all done very, very well. And it's mm -hmm. just because the way Electro Mode gets, we understand digital, we understand you know, it's not just about getting the album happening. It's about the brand, getting them onto playlists. And um, and that's why we've done well with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, having all that data, you know, that back-end data, um, analyzing the trends moving forward, which genre do you think will rock 2021? Well, I think at the moment, I'm a piano is definitely evolving to be, it's the pop music of five years ago. You know, music goes through phases, you know. It was house, it was Afro soul, it was, you know, it, it, it evolves itself. It's still a form of dance music, you know what I mean? It's just mm -hmm. now we call it I'm a piano and it's a certain sound to it. I think that will evolve to something new in 2021. But right now, the reason why I'm a piano is also so, so popular because it's, it, it's got songs, it's got chords, it's got soul. You listen to mm. Sound Matrix and Soulful G Utando. It's a soulful song, but with a I'm a piano sound, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. And I mm. think everyone's, uh, yeah, they're catching on to that sound. I don't know what new is going to develop, but a genre develops with time. It's not all of a sudden somebody wakes up and says, I'm going to start a new sound. It's just a <laughs> development. You know what I mean? Mm. And no one can claim fame to it, it's just a movement. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, you touched a bit earlier about, you know, your partnership with Ingroove's music, meaning that, uh, you, you know, you get to do a bit more and, uh, and, and do more for, for, for local artists. I know one of the, you know, electro mode visions has always been to have a global star from South Africa. Um, you know, how, 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 how is that going? Well, the, the, the whole thing about me selling to Ingrus was for me to relocate to America. And while I'm there, I can actually at, be at um, the forefront of taking South African music to the next level. Sending it to the guys in Grooves is a good thing. And yes, we're going to do collabs. We're going to do that. It's not the same as having someone in there doing it. You, do you know what I mean? Mm. You, know, you, you can't have a hit in Nigeria from here. You've got to go to Nigeria and be on the ground pushing music and that's how music happens. And that, that's my plan. Um, if COVID didn't happen, I would have already been in America now, but obviously with a pandemic, I had to change the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, very interesting insights. Um, but I want to know, is it, or ha are there local artists that have gotten rich in South Africa from just oh. digital streams? And can you Big talk time. about it? I can't give numbers, I'm afraid, but some of my artists have earned millions, if I can say that. Whoa. Whoa. From just streaming? Yeah. Just streaming. Wow. Wow. Well, can you tell me you the time like this? You've got to understand, my model, the artist gets 80% of the money. 8 -0. When mm -hmm. you sign to a label, you make 10%. Just to give you an idea. Mm. The model going forward with artists is owning their own masters and doing some kind of a distribution deal with the labels like us. Mm. We're the new labels of uh, tomorrow. 
artists want to get the bulk of the money. But to do that, they've got to uh, uh, empower themselves. They've got to record their own music. They've got to do their own social media. They've got to do their own marketing. And that's how they make the most money. If you go to somebody and say, please put money into me, you're going to make the least money. Because the guy put artists mm. don't understand they want to go to someone and say spend money on me but whoever going to spend money wants to make the lion's share of the money now with mm. distribution mm. and the model we've got it gives artists a platform to be able to distribute their own money and we do artist services we'll add a radio plugin we'll add pr we'll add social media and they still keep their own masters they still are in control, but obviously they can make a lot more money. Mm, mm. Wow, wow. Why would you want to go and sign to a, a big label and make 10%? That doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? That's why they're keen to spend money on you because they're making all the money. Mm, mm. I'm behind well, the musician. I believe the musician must make money. Yes, you can make a lot of money out of streaming. Do it properly, you can make money. Okay. And uh, second, last question. Um, there are many artists out there, um, you know, that would want to join Electro Mode. What is, first of all, are you allowing more artists to join and what is the process? We allow anyone that has a record or uh, music to come and distribute to us. you got to get hold of uh, my a and salesperson, Lindani, and you'll send him the music. Obviously, we got to listen to it. You can't be a busker with terrible, terrible sound. And, you know, it's got to be a, a, a sort of professional recording, if you, you want to say that. But everyone's got an opportunity to sign. There's no signing on fee. There's nothing. You send us your stuff. We like it. We put it up. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Last question. Do you think that, like, traditional record labels are, are obsolete? Are they going to be obsolete? No, there is always there is always a, a, a place for them. It's artists who don't have money, artists who don't want to do their own thing, artists who rely on other people. There'll always be a, a, a traditional record label, yes, because you know there, there, there is a home for that. There are some artists who are starting up who have got no money, they've got nowhere to record, but they've just got talent. They need to go to a label. They need to someone to invest in. Of course, there'll always be that. Mm. We are more for the guys got home studio. Everyone's got a home studio. Everyone's bought a computer. Everyone's got songs. They've recorded. We, we, we fill a different gap, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Completely understood. Uh, thank you so much for answering uh, my questions. Is there anything else that you'd like to add uh, from Electro Mode that you want people to know about? Not really. You, you know, if you're a label, if you're an investor and you're looking for good distribution, transparent distribution, someone knows what they're doing, come talk to us. Mm. Mm. You know, yes. Electro Mode, is, I think in 2019, 2020, we've been number one distributors of local music on the internet. Mm. So we know what wow. you're doing. We've got lots of success. Wow, wow. I mean, look, if you're making, if you're out here making millionaires, then, you know, that's good enough for me. You know, just from streaming. No, no. Yeah. You know? We're as good as what the, uh, the people distribute to us. You can ask any of them who's happy with us. And I'm sure they will have good uh, reviews from Electro Mode. By the way, we're now called Electro Mode in Grooves. Electro Mode in Grooves. Okay. <laughs> well, because the rest no. of the world knows in Grooves. No one knows Electro Mode, only South Africa. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Wow, you know, um, amazing th stuff. And thank you so much, you know, for investing in talent and for being transparent, you know. I've never heard of, you know, a, a company that offers artists 80%. Like, that's unheard of. So, you yeah, know, thank you I mean. so much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for your transparency. And we really appreciate it. But most of all, thanks for giving artists money. For me, I think that's the most important thing. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. well done. Thank you very much. Speaking all right. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Bye.